Hello guys, welcome to the Resolve Store. We are glad to announce the newest update to our seamless Resolve X Transitions Pack. With the new update, the process of applying these transitions has become way more simplified than before. Please note that these transitions work with DaVinci Resolve 16.2 version and above. Doesn't matter if it's a paid or free version. One really great thing with this update is that you can apply these transitions to any frame rate at any resolution. Now let us learn how to install and use Resolve X transitions. Firstly, go to the Fusion tab and then click on the Edit Template. Click on the Transitions tab, click on the three dots, and then finally click on the Show Folder. Now, just remember, we have to paste the Resolve X transitions into the folder. Just go to the Resolve X Transitions folder and then copy all the transitions. Paste it in the Transitions folder, which we just opened. Now we have to close and reopen DaVinci Resolve for our transitions to show up. It's a really necessary step, otherwise you won't be able to see the transitions. Click on the Effects Library. Make sure the Video Transitions bin is selected. Now just scroll down to Fusion Transitions. We can now see all the transitions that we pasted are visible here. Drag your clips to the timeline. Now a really important point to be noted here. For making our transitions to work smoothly, we need to leave some frames for them to work. So leave some frames from the end of the first clip and from the starting of the second clip. Now just choose the transition which you wish to apply. We have included 10 transitions from our 112 ResolveX transitions for free. It includes single variation of camera shake, film roll, glitch, lens distortion, pan, push, spin, swirl, whip, and zoom. For more types and variations, you can purchase the whole pack on our website. Among these free transitions, choose the transition which you wish to apply, and then just drag and drop it between the clips. You can also increase or decrease the length of the transitions as per your convenience, but we recommend you not change the default duration. You can also change the amount of motion blur required. To make sure that your transitions play smoothly, just click on the playback, render cache, and set that to smart. Now you are good to go. Just let the clip render. Here's the final result. That's all folks. We will be back soon with more free resources and tutorials for DaVinci Resolve. Keep learning, keep growing, and stay safe.